Make sure you've watched the last lesson on how to convert an expression into words because now we're going to do the reverse and we're going to turn the words back into an expression. So you're going to need that background and all the notes that you took. All we need to do is break this up into codes because there are secret hidden codes that tell us to add or subtract or to put an equal sign. Like here we have 24. Okay, that's code for 24. Is the same... Remember that is the same means equals the product means we have to multiply the product of six and a number. If you see a number and you don't know what that number is, just pick a letter, pick a variable, pick like some mystery number. We can call it X. The reason why I made this X curvy is not to confuse it with the multiplication X, which from now on, from now until high school, till university, you will never ever need to use this X this times X ever again. We're starting grade eight algebra. And the way we represent multiplication is not by putting a funny X like that. It's by putting the numbers side by side with, with them touching. That's how you do it. So we have here, what do we have? Um, let's get in the habit of putting symbols beside numbers. So this is positive 24. This is positive six and this is positive X. If we take these and rearrange them, we can get 6 times x, so 6x, six I don't need to put positives. Positives are, are optional. And then our is 24. We could do that. Or we could do this. We can go 24 equals 6x. How about the second one? The quotient. Okay, so that's division. Of a number. So a number, let's pick a different letter. Let's pick y. And seven, so a number and seven. Now this looks like it could be a plus, right? Because we know and means plus, but it doesn't in this case because it says it's a quotient. So we're not going to put plus. That would be wrong. Is decreased by 11. So we're going to decrease by 11, minus 11. Decrease by 11, that's code for minus 11. So we have now division of these two, so we're gonna put y divided by seven. I'm not gonna use it, don't, don't use this thing here. Use the fraction division. So we have the quotient of a number and seven, here's the number and seven, the quotient, is decreased by 11. Since there is no equal sign here, this is called an expression. Whereas this top one has an equal sign and an answer, so we call it an equation. And you're responsible for knowing the difference between those two. We have three bananas are added to a basket of bananas. So we have a basket of bananas. We have this basket of bananas. And we don't know how many bananas are inside this basket. There's some mystery amount. So we can call that B. B for mystery amount of bananas. But all we know is we're going to take three bananas and we can add them to the basket. So we have a mystery amount, B. We're going to add three more. So three bananas are added. So plus three to a basket of bananas. And the result, result, result means equals seven. Done. Next. When a bunch of jelly beans are split into, not bunch of jelly beans, do we know how much? Do we know if there's six jelly beans or 12 jelly beans? Do we know if there's 18 or 100? We don't know yet. So we're just going to call it some mystery number. How about J for jelly beans? J for jelly beans. You'll never forget it. And we're going to split them. So splitting means divide. So we're going to divide into four groups. So we're going to divide by four. So we're going to put J. We're going to divide by four. There are five in each group. Isn't that the answer? There are five in each group. So we must have had, what, 20 to start with? 20 divided by four is five. And here we must have had four bananas to start with inside the basket. That's going to be later on in the unit. I'm just giving you a little preview. Now, this is where it gets very challenging. You might need to watch this part of the video three or four times, but you will get it. You're going to write all this down. You're going to practice it until you know it very well. I believe in you. Yay! Woo! Sam is two years older than Ashley. Look, we have Sam and we have Ashley. I'm going to write S and A. 
We know that the sum of their ages... Now look, we have Sam is two years older. So Sam equals two years older. Isn't that plus two? Plus two than Ashley? So we can have plus two than Ashley. So whatever Ashley is. Or we can just say Sam equals A plus two. You can flip these around, right? Remember, just carry the symbol in front of it with the number. So if the A goes to the front, the positive comes with it, and this here carries it to the back. So plus two goes to the back side. Now what do we know? The sum of their ages is 18. So Sam's age plus Ashley's age is equal to 18. So they could be nine and nine. They could be six and six and, uh, and 12. You know, it could be 11 and, but no, they can't be any of those. Those numbers add up to 18, but Sam has to be two years older. So you know what I'm going to do? I wrote this up here because it's going to help me. How's it going to help me? That's a very good question. Sam is A plus two. Whatever Ashley is, we're going to add two more to it. So can I go, hey, buddy, Sam, I'm going to get your, I'm going to kick your letter out and I'm going to put A plus two in, instead. Because Sam and A plus 2 are the same thing. Isn't that what equals means? It means this side and that side are identical. So how about I scratch out the S and just write A plus 2? And then I'm going to write plus A equals 18. If you're ever stuck on questions like this and you have two different letters, you know you're not done yet. You cannot, cannot have two different Letters. You cannot do that. That means you're incomplete. But here I have only one letter. That is a good thing. And what's A plus A? Here I have an A and here I have a plus A. What's A plus A? Isn't that two A's? Plus two more equals 18. That is my final equation. How about here? Tyler's shoe size is twice Mike's. So Tyler is... Twice Mike's, two times M. I'm not going to put a time sign. I'm just going to put them side by side. And the difference in their shoe size is 10. So we have Tyler. Difference means what? Means takeaway. Tyler minus Mike, their difference is equal to 10. But I know Tyler. I know how much Tyler is worth. Tyler is worth two M's. So I'm going to go to Tyler. I'm going to say, hey, buddy, I'm going to kick you out of here. I don't want you in this equation. I'm just going to put your worth, your value is 2M. And then I'm going to put my minus and M and equals to 10. But now I have 2Ms minus M. That's a good thing because it's only one letter. It's an M and an M. Here I had a T and an M. That's no good. This is M and an M. That's good. M and M. What's 2Ms minus an M? M. 1M. So I have 1M. These two become just 1M equals to 10 equals 10. And now I am complete. We've got one more to go. We have a number. Number, I don't know. Number is N. And six less than the number. The same number, I think. Yeah, it's the same number. Six less. Six less is minus six. Then the number. The number is N. Have a sum of 15. Hmm. So six less than the number. Remember in the last video when we had to convert these into words? Six less than a number is going to be n minus six. That is six less than the number. Remember that now. Yes, I know it's clicking me. I know you're understanding and remembering this. We have six less than a number. That's this part. This whole thing here, this all becomes that. So we have a number and... We have six less than a number. So we have two numbers here. We have the first number and we have six less than it. Have a sum of 15. Sum means adding. So we're going to add these two numbers. We're going to add the number and we're going to add the six less than a number. This is the number. And this here is six less than the number. And their sum, when you add them, this is what the plus sign is, is 15. Now look, this is good. We only have one type of letter. It's an N. But we have an N plus N. How many N's is that? Two N's. So we have two N. We have for minus six. N equals 15. Ah!